news! Disgrace in the city as the SpongeBob Memorial exploded! It's been a year since the humans were here! This attack proves the fight is not over! Are the humans back? The hero of Bikini Bottom is gone! Will his sacrifice be in vain? This can't be the work of the humans! Someone from Bikini Bottom is behind this! They keep returning! Destroying all they touch! You believe the humans might strike again for a third time? Blowing up that statue is definitely the start of another fight. We must prepare for the worst. Meet back here tomorrow night. We will get to the bottom of this. SpongeBob and his friends, his statue, these attacks are all linked. But right now, I gotta visit Grandma. She's been alone all year. These attacks, they're systematic. Whoever's doing this is erasing SpongeBob's whole legacy. It's someone from SpongeBob's past. We must revisit SpongeBob's old foes. There could be a hint hidden within. Flats the Flounder! SpongeBob's childhood bully! He always hated how he could never hurt SpongeBob! But is there any evidence linking him to these attacks? We must investigate further! They killed my best friend! Last thing I remember was getting stabbed. Dying with a knife through my heart. SpongeBob must have buried me, but starfish regenerate. It took me a year, but I returned. I was hoping that I was the only one who died, but that wasn't true. I lost everyone that day. I then found out that SpongeBob sacrificed himself. These humans keep taking all that I love! The humans didn't work alone. We believe Flats the Flounder is helping them. We have to find this traitor and confirm our suspicions. But where is he now? No one has seen Flats for a while now. He used to live in the old lighthouse near the outskirts of town. It's him! 
He is a traitor of Bikini Bottom! Well, it's about time you figured it out. Patrick Star, you live? For too long, SpongeBob's shadow loomed over me. His success, a constant reminder of my failures. I myself could never physically hurt him, so I devised a plan. I pulled the strings behind the first two attacks. If I couldn't hurt him, the humans could. But even in defeat, SpongeBob was hailed a hero. I still saw his face everywhere, still loved by everybody. I decided to seize control, not just overshadow SpongeBob, but obliterate his legacy. So I built an army of my own flesh and blood, hundreds of flounders, ready at my command, training to kill all who oppose. The name SpongeBob will be outlawed. I will wash away the past and bring forth a new tide. The legacy of SpongeBob SquarePants will be forgotten, and the name Flax the Flounder will finally be remembered and then, I will have peace. You're a monster! You want to ruin everybody's lives because of your petty jealousy! This will not work! SpongeBob is dead, and Bikini Bottom is a shell of its former self. A new age has come. The Flounders will take control now. Embrace it or die. You won't get away with this, Flats! We attack at dawn. A final devastating attack on Bikini Bottom. And there's nothing you can do to stop us. We can't let him win. We have to warn everyone and prepare for the coming attack. We have an advantage this time. We have time to prepare. Let's set up defenses. Let's quickly train every person. This is everyone's fight. The last final fight. For a bikini bottom. Bikini bottom is mine. We are the waves that will be stopped for SpongeBob! Bob was adored, praised, while well, I was overlooked, dismissed. Now it's my time to be remembered.
I will be remembered more than SpongeBob ever was. SpongeBob's legacy outlives your envy. Rest easy, cousin. Your legacy is a fan.